And that's how you play Point Salad. I wonder if Chad and Mark are coming over. While this does play up to six, they've got other plans today. Where's our starting cards? We don't start with anything. Nothing? Nope. Who starts the game? It says to randomly choose a start player. I'll go first. Not fair. Ooh, let's spin for it. The point of Point Salad, see what I did there? is to earn the most points. And to do that, you have to match your veggies with your point cards. Thanks for the reminder, Barb. While we're waiting, any last questions? Why aren't we playing with those cards? These cards were randomly removed from the deck and set up because we only have four players. So what are my choices again? Take something. You either take any two veggies from any row in the market, or you could take a point card from one of the draw piles. What was that rule about flipping a card? I can flip a veggie card to its point card side later in the game? No. As an optional free action, you can turn any point card to its veggie side, but only once per turn. Right. Hey, let's get going. It's pointing at you. Me? Which means I'm last. What if I want to take just one veggie card? Nah, you don't want to do that right now. It's still the first turn. Can I do that? Later in the game, if you want to take just one veggie card, it can't be from the veggie market. You have to take it from the point card draw pile and then flip it over to its veggie side. Remember the free action? Oh. Okay. It's your turn. Hum. Yup. Humana, humana. Like those two? Two veggies. Or those two? Two veggies. Ooh. Or these two? Uh, just pick two. <laughs> or you just draw from the point card stack. Mm. Go! Game on! This is supposed to be a 20 minute game. Right, Barb? Remember, in this house, first games don't count, so just have fun. We're still learning how to play. Ooh, look at that juicy veggie. Mm. You're fine. Nah, I'll take these two. No, these two. Now I've got an onion and a lettuce. I think I'm gonna join you, Joey, in some of that hot pepper action. I think I need to get some rare veggies. <laughs> Wait, what? This point card is worth more negative points to me than positive, but if I flip it over to its veggie side, it's gonna give me points over here. But how do you know what veggie's underneath it? The triangle in the top corner shows you what veggie's on the other side. If I'd known, I would've played differently the entire time. It's been there the whole time. How could you not be using that information? Is it my turn yet? No. Ooh, nice! That point card looks great! You're up, Emma! Come on home to Mama! Don't mind if I do. When a stack is depleted, all you need to do is take half from another and then move it over. Well, I guess I take the lettuce and cabbage. That cabbage cost me seven victory points. All right, everybody, count them up. I didn't get enough point cards, huh? 41 points. 
Well, 40 points. You beat me by one, Taylor. Nice job. 60 points. See, I told you you were doing well. Um... Here, I can help you out with that. You've got four carrots, and you only need three for eight points, but you do have the most carrots for ten. You have an even number of tomatoes for seven points. You have two sets of your yellow peppers. I know I got the most peppers. Ten points. Hey, carrots. Nice. Great job, Joey. Sixty-five points? Sixty-five? Do you understand how scoring works now? I guess so. Well, you did a great job for your first time. Right, Emma? Good game, Joey. I think we were playing in a different game than those two. You're getting the hang of this. Hey everyone, Kim here, the real Kim. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video and want to see more, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see me play a specific game, put it in the comments section below.